Next, what we need to do is we need to mark where we're going to cut. So we're going to cut right along here and right along here. And this side's somewhat critical because we're into that area where that bar goes and we just need to be real careful that we don't get into there. On this side, we've got a lot of leeway. Let me find the next piece that needs to be marked. This is a cover. And that's why it doesn't work. So we're just using this to protect the, so we're going to put a mark here. It's just to protect the high voltage power supply so nobody accidentally touches it. And so we're going to cut here and all the rest of this goes away. And we're just going to mark it about three quarters of an inch past. I marked it about an inch, so a little bit longer. We'll set it back in a very safe place. I'm uh, using my little Harbor Freight hacksaw here and I'm going to use, oh, my GoPro should catch this, I'm going to push this box away because I don't want any of the dust in there. Yeah, that'll be better served for um, something else. So I'm going to use the big saw for this. So, that's recycle, and this is reuse. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to try the other saw here just to see if it works any better. but it is effective until you bend a blade. And so I've got the printer off the edge of the table so that I can kind of work through it and around it. And I'm still being careful not to damage my ribbon cables. And this is why I'm doing this slowly. If I was doing this with a power tool, I probably would damage something. And I would certainly create a ton of dust. It's just slow, painstaking work. You've just got to kind of work your way through it. And I'm sure these are cheap saw blades, but... I just don't understand why it keeps binding. So I think this saw blade shot. Oh yeah, that's much better. Really close.
So there we have it. I jokingly refer to this as the $10,000 piece because essentially what the companies that convert these do is cut this out and then jack the price up about $10,000. So if you have this in your printer, it's a $10,000 discount, but you can't print t-shirts. It recycles. Okay, so I'm gonna use a power tool on this because there's no risk of contamination. Be much easier if I had a second. There we go, maybe 30 seconds. And this is actually the piece I, I need and want. So we'll just hold on to that. And this other piece is scrap. So I'm gonna cut it with this, just a rough cut. That might have been the better way to do this all along, but... Okay, so there's that one. One of the things I need to do is I need to cut the paper feed roller off. I only need a little piece of it, and I really don't like it dropping onto the ground, so I'm gonna let it drop into my box of parts. Well, no, I don't wanna do that either. You know what, I've got a rag over here. It can just drop onto this. So I'm just gonna, I've got it clamped down real good. And... go. So got that off and now we can get rid of the rest of this 